Hello everyone, so um, remember when I said that actually transferring to SDL2 and porting the, the rendering library I'm developing to, to Android would be great? Well, I actually now did this and uh, here's how I did it. Mm. Let's start from the um, CMake file provided by this guy, whoever you are, you have my star. <laughs> Um, this guy provided a CMake that um, wraps the Gradle and um, the native project which is in CMake. Um, let's call it and actually upload the application live. So let's do some cleaning and now Let's do the Gradle assemble, which will compile the library. And in the meantime, as it's executing the CMAX, uh, it looks like this. Um, give me a second. Well, it looks like this. Um, it has some code injections of my CMAX. It's a little Frankenstein at the moment, um, but I'm glad it worked. Um, there's also a sample or two in C. Uh, it's almost done, so let's unlock the phone and actually upload the um, the cube, the sample I've been running on the desktop let's show it just for a quick refresh takes some time. Okay, and let's create a new level from Perlin Noise Generate. And that's how it looks. And there's no more features whatsoever. And the Android is built. So let's do the installation for the Android debug tools. It's now uploaded. And now let's run it. Let's make screen a little bit bigger. Okay, so now you can see the this little IMG Y box. Let's resize it. I'm afraid that only the windows resized, not the controls. But anyway, we can generate the pedal in this. Let's create a two by two level. Let's just make my phone burn out of processing overhead and come on those controls can't click them okay it will be actually two by one because I can't <laughs> I actually clicked Okay, it will be two by three. I am not sure if it can be seen, but and let's generate. And it is generated. Now let's use a very handy and budgy um, touch just gesture I added. Give me a second. And here it is in a mighty 60 FPS. Problem is, I had to use a uh, very ugly shader to render this because I had some problems with previous shaders. 
which I showed on the desktop. Mm. But once I solve it, it will look the same. Those shaders compile just the visual output differs for some reason. Mm. Actually, I think I was under those chunk, not on top of it. And now we can see scrolling. So that was it. Um, could have used some screen capture, but I didn't bother. Um, my phone is actually getting quite alarmingly hot <laughs> doing this. Um, so what needs to be fixed is those shaders and probably some input uh, fixing for Android. And obviously I was doing it quickly and untidy, so there's a lot of um, ad hoc fixes in the code. Um, so that was it, SDL, SDL um, Android. Um, thanks for watching, I guess.